Well, I'm live before you. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Shannon Haranku coming to you live from Ontario. Jason Haranku, same place. And we are, I wanted to pop online today and cook up a little quick recipe that you forgot, you forgot to turn your notifications off. Oh. Doesn't matter. Anyways, what we are baking tonight is baked Rookie. chicken zucchini with bacon. Um, super easy, super fast. It's about 10 minutes of preparation time and about 25 to 30 minutes in the oven at 375 degrees. Mm. Look really good in the picture. I, I think it's going to turn out really, really good, uh, except for one little mistake. Um, <laughs> I went to the store today and I forgot my glasses, so I ended up buying maple bacon, which the recipe does not call for. So no big deal. It might just end up turning into a masterpiece. Who knows? Maybe it was, uh, maybe it was fake. They brought the maple meant, bacon and, and myself together. It was meant to be. I totally forgot my glasses. So now, guys, if you're watching this live, put one in the comments below. If you're watching the replay, please put two in the comments below. If you want to be added to our health and wellness group, where a lot of these recipes are actually posted, put group in the comments below. Please make sure you send either Jay a request or myself a friend request yep. um, because we cannot add you to that group, guys, because um, it's a private group unless you're actually friends on Facebook. So everything is done in this casserole dish. It's all baked together all at one time. So you're going in with four boneless chicken breasts, one zucchini, six strips of... Regular bacon. It's supposed to be regular, but we're doing maple. So just so you guys know... It'll probably just taste better with the normal bacon, but who knows, like, things surprise. Yeah, surprise I think it'll be surprise. okay. Well, and we'll let we, you know anyways. We're going in with fresh mozzarella and some fresh Parmesan, mm -hmm. guys, and again, some zucchini, so. Hey guys, remember, um, remember if you like what you see as well, feel free to share us out. Um, so, yeah, welcome to Sunday, Sunday fun day at the Heranky Residence. Yeah. Uh, we actually were at the trailer for half the week. We decided to come home early because this weekend has been not the greatest weather, which is okay because uh, we've been watching the Olympics. I don't know. I've been watching them like crazy. Um, took me a bit to Hi, get into Lynette. it. How are you? Took me uh, a bit to get into it, but um, I can't keep my I can't keep my eyes off the TV, guys. And one thing I didn't realize is how many different types of sports there were in the uh, Summer Olympics. Um, yeah, insane. But I mean, if you're a Canadian, we've won, uh, we've done well. Um, one of the highly anticipated um, events of the Summer Olympics is the men's 100 meter finals, and Andre de Grasse won a bronze medal, which was fantastic. Uh, so that was really cool to watch. And it's, it's insane how fast these guys are. Um, and, you know, the difference is like milliseconds between first, second, and third. It's really fun to watch that. So I've gone ahead, guys, and um, cut up the zucchini. You're cutting it into nice thin slices. You want to make sure that the juice helps marinate the chicken breast when it is baking in the oven for the time period until it's cooked. Yeah. Um, but what we're going to actually do is garnish it with a little bit of... Um, ranch seasoning. Ranch seasoning. So the powder form, guys. So I'm going to cover some of the chicken breast with it. It calls for about half a pack. So you go ahead with that first. And this is all, this is all her today. Um, she's pretty much done all the prepping in that. I've, so again, we, I'm not really contributing much, I'm sorry. It, that's okay. <laughs> it, we follow low carb, um, keto friendly, I would say, but we're not strict, strict keto guys. We're, we would be called more low carbs or di sorry, dirty yeah, carb, I would, I would say. Jasmine, Jasmine, I don't know. Um, hi, Jasmine, Jasmine. I don't know who you are, but yeah, welcome. Hi, Jasmine. Welcome. So, I'm going to do a little bit more, so I don't know, I'll okay, so what? you guys see kind of what's going on here. So you're basically covering the chicken breast with the um, ranch. Seasoning? Seasoning. Mm -hmm. What's what's next? Because I, I want to actually like, participate a little bit here. So you can layer it, you're cool. going to layer it with the zucchini. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to layer it with the zucchini. <laughs> it's cut about a half an inch to an inch thick. Hi Cam, hi Not Kelly, hi Lynette. <laughs> Jasmine on your end. Awesome. So again, guys, if you're watching this live, put one in the comments below. If you're watching the replay, please put two in the comments if you want to be added to our health and wellness group where a lot of these recipes are actually posted. Uh, put group in the comments below and also let us know where you guys are coming from. I'd love to know how far our videos are actually um, going. Traveling. And traveling out. I wish. You're just gonna like literally layer, just layer yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm just, you know. 
Am I going too slow so, for you? No, no, no. Okay. No. So we started on this journey. I think I started on this journey January. So, so it would have been January. Yeah, yeah 2021. Pretty much. So I've been on it now for about six months. I'm absolutely loving it. Tell them it. all about your success. I um, had tried several different lifestyle changes to be where I wanted to be physically, mentally. Definitely. And I never found anything really sustainable until I started following a low carb um, lifestyle. We do allow cheat days because I think just for <laughs> sustainability, for us, I could never be strict keto. I think um, for your mental health, it's good too, right? Like some people are great at it, but for myself, the, li the lifestyle I want to actually live, I still want to be able to have my glass of wine. I still want to be able to have my oh, cheat no, day I'm, here and there. I'm fine with the cheat days, yeah. Yeah. What did we have yesterday? Or you don't want to tell everybody? Oh, yeah. We had... <laughs> um, we had poutine. But oh, we not just a poutine. We had the largest size they had. The family size. Right, I which is fine. I had two servings, but you know what, guys? I allow myself to do that once a week. That way I know like, I get through another you know, six days of eating healthy, watching my, uh, my fat to protein intake. I yeah. don't eat any carbs, very little if I do, and I absolutely and have zero How much of a sugar. difference does it really make to you the next day with when you have your PTKs? Oh, absolutely no difference at all because when I'm drinking my PTKs, if I butt myself out of a state of ketosis, once I do take my PTKs, it's going to put me back in a state of ketosis within 59 minutes or less, meaning I will be burning my own fat for fuel. So that's Burning your own fat for fuel? Doesn't that sound sexy? Yeah, you're going to go. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle some uh, bacon on here, guys, yeah. just all over the top. So the nice part of being in a state of ketosis, if none of you have ever been in that, is that it is much um, longer sustainable energy. Happy, happy said thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> much up better fuel you. source. So it's unlike following a um, lifestyle where you, Lynette, you know what, if you want to message me, I can give What's you up, some Brennan? information on nice that. Nice to see you, Absolutely. Steve. Welcome, Mr. Steve Slack. How are you? The uh, what's nice well. about following a low carbohydrate lifestyle is that you're not actually relying on the carbohydrates sugars. or sugars to give you actually energy. What we so. rely on is our essentially our own body fat, and we all have a little bit of that to offer for energy at some point, See. especially when you're eating poutine once a week. Yeah, or two times. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, guys, so if you've just joined, um, right now in front of me, I have, so we start off with a dish with four chicken breasts, Layered with half a, a half a pack of ranch sauce, sliced zucchini, about half an inch to uh, about a half an inch thick, and then cover it with uh, bacon. And now we're just gonna get to the final steps where we're gonna be adding our favorite part, which my is my favorite part, or your favorite part. Yep. Well, my favorite part of her dish is cheese goes well with everything, right? My guilty so. pleasure. I, every time we go away on vacation to an all-inclusive resort, yeah, I overeat on always cheese. Turns out, always <laughs> yeah. turns out bad. Not a good thing. Right? Um, but yeah, let's spread that out. Just yeah, let's more. try this to make sure it's so okay. calls for about half a cup of fresh mm. mozzarella, guys, and about half a cup of Parmesan. Again, because we are not strict keto, I'm probably going to go in with the, about a cup of each. Because um, I'm not really going to follow all my straight macros and stuff. So. Right, right. And, it, and it's funny because we got in a conversation yesterday with someone else about, you know, like, even though it is a high-fat diet, um, you, if you're looking to achieve your goals, sorry, I'm trying to get both cameras here, you still have to follow and kind of measure your food out because you can overdo your protein or your fat. So uh, if you do have your goals, guys, there is actually a great app out there. It's completely free to download. It's called Carb Manager. And what it does is it allows you to set whatever goal you want, whether you want to gain muscle, lose weight, um, and it's based on a low carb diet um, there is a pro version of it, which I didn't get, but my wife did. I did, and I Yeah, so it. Shannon got it uh, for a bit, and it gives you it, tons of recipes well, as well. Really, I, th I think it really helped me learn, um, like what you were saying, you can go over act the actual fat intake. You still, if your actual goal following a low-carb keto lifestyle is to actually um, lose a little bit of fat, you still want to make sure your body's in a deficit calorie-wise, whether yep. it be on protein, fat, or carbohydrates. So you still can overdo it yep. um, in the fat department if your protein levels aren't up at the same time. Exactly. So we're just finishing up with the cheese here. Um, yeah, it looks good. So again, guys, if you're watching it live, put one in the comments below. If you are watching the replay, please put two in the comments below. If you want to be added to our health and wellness group. Hi, Jordan. 
I'm gonna wave back at her. Press three and put group in the comments below. Um, make sure to actually send either myself or Jason a friend request because like I said, the group is private. We cannot add you to that group yep. um, unless we are actually friends on Facebook. You gotta be friends. I'm flooded with Facebook requests, so to be honest with you, if I don't Ridiculous. get back to you within the next couple days. I don't know, I, could, I couldn't handle it, but. Reach out to Jason if I have not responded, but I swear guys, I will get back to you at some point. So and if, also make sure to share, guys, if you love our yeah. video, share it out, man. Share us out, share it out. follow our page. We like to go live at least every other day. Um, there has been times where we've slacked a little bit and only done one or twice a week, but we are back on track <laughs> and um, ready to go, guys. So mm. I'm going to put this in the oven. Again, it's been preheated at 375 degrees. Yep. You've got quite a few people on there too, Steve. Yeah. Rebecca, hi guys. Hi, Rebecca. Um, I'm going to put this in the oven. Hola. Preheated at 375 degrees. I'm going to check it after about 25 minutes. I'm super particular with... Uh, my chicken, so I'm gonna actually check it at that point. It Super might take particular a, with chicken. I'm always freaked out that I'm gonna get yeah. salmonella. Or she something. doesn't trust so, me on the barbecue with chicken, that's for sure. No, not at all. <laughs> so I'm going to check it at about 25 minutes. It, so it should be, depending on the size of your chicken breast, between 25 and 30 minutes, guys. Mm. And then the recipe says this is gonna come. Those are some pretty big breasts, though. They are, yeah. Pretty so thick. It, again, it depends on how big they are, how long you're gonna bake it for. Yep. So I hope everybody has a great evening. Thank you for watching. Awesome, guys. Time. Thank you so much. We will show you the results after and let you know how, how like it Like I how do every is. time. I always yeah. post in my story how the final product turned out. So I will show that in the story later. Hi, Diana. Hi from Newfoundland. Hi, guys. Newfoundland. <laughs> yeah. Love that place. So again, guys, I hope everybody has a great evening. We will probably see you within the next couple days. And cheers. I hope night, everybody guys. has a good night. All the best. Ciao.